Yes, sisters and brothers, obedience is the key to our miracle. Obedience is the key. Because when we obey God, I believe it speeds up the process, pretty much, if that makes sense. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be God's holy name. I was um, sitting up thinking, right after I done the first video for today, some of you all are walking in obedience, which is a blessing. Remind you, back on my one of my other videos, God allowed me to share with you guys. I was living in a two-bedroom over in San Antonio, Texas. Everything was I mean, I was I was set, comfortable. I had everything I needed for the blackout. If the EMP hit, I had boxes of canned goods, food everywhere, just in case if family needed help. Uh, when the famine hit, I would be prepared. Bless God. But I heard the Spirit of the Lord say one morning, it's time to move. And I'm like, I wrestled with that thing a while. I'm like, where can I go when I, you done told me to prepare and stock up like Joseph did? <laughs> Pretty much. But I, I, it didn't go away. And you may be going through something right now where the little boys would not go away. This message is not for you to feel sorry for me because most of us are walking in accordance to obedience. Because you remember, if you read the book of Job, he lost everything he had. Job had a test case. Abraham had a test case. Joseph had a test case. And God changed their names when, when he moved them out. So when I heard that voice again, you're going to have to move. And he began to show me every day, reminding me. It's getting close to that time. And sometimes when we don't hear him accordingly, you all know what that means. He gonna put a little pain under you because he told you to move away from that situation. Now I don't know who this message is for, but it's for somebody. Because I didn't I, I wasn't gonna do another video today. If he told you to get out of a certain situation, please do it. God knows what's best for you. If he told you to leave that relationship where this man is never going to marry you, you need to move out. If he said get off, go away from that job you're on, be obedient because he got something better for you. Now, I'm not telling you to get up and leave your job. I'm not saying that. You know if you feel something inside of your spirit, you know, you can feel it inside of you like something pushing you like it's time to go. Anywho, back to San Antonio. I had everything. Brand new wash and dryer on everything set up. Cook what I wanted to cook. Two bedroom, living alone. All bills was paid. God was was supplying every need. I didn't have to go to no sugar daddy. <laughs> I didn't have to go to my best friend and ask for nothing. That was that season, that chaotic season. But when it was over, over, he said, get up and move. I had to obey God. I'm like, where am I going, God? 
He didn't give me no answer. Just trust me. So after I began to feel the unction so strong where I couldn't take it anymore, I got up, had some movers to help me move. So I ended up in Austin, put my stuff in the storage. So I'm like, where am I going now, God? I'm thinking I'm fixing to go to another state. You heard that old saying? Praise him in the hallway. When this door don't open and you can't go front, you can't go left or right. You have to praise him in the hallway. <laughs> oh my God. So I had to get in that position and trust him wherever he says go. So not having a home is for a reason, out of obedience, because I could have kept my two-bedroom living very comfortably. I mean, refrigerator full of food, you name it. I had it going on. And I always thought about the family getting in trouble, they got somewhere to go. But after he told me to get out and move, I'm still going through this right now. Praising him in the hallway. Because he know the next level. He know the next move. And of course, he he, he, he talks to us. He lets you know what's where, you, where you, he's going to take you. He, he'll show it to you, but you got to be patient. You got to trust God, what he has for you. Some of you all, he told you who your husband going to be. Some of you all know he, uh, who your wife is going to be. Some of you all know that because he done already showed it to you. Well, we're not out here dumbfounded now. No, we're not dumbfounded. God speaks to us. He talks to us. That's why the enemy knows the promise is so big. That's why he, oh, let's beat him up, beat him up, beat him up any way we can. But keep keep on doing what the devil, we let him do what he wants to do, pretty much. But he's not going to stop us. Because we see what's ahead of us. Moses, he knew the promised land was in the front of him. And God said, don't look back. Do not look back. Don't go back, Lot. What I have for you is ahead of you. Praise God. This word is for somebody today. So God delivered me out of San Antonio. You forgot almost, it was five years. I lived alone. I was in a wilderness season, healing from hurts, healing from so many wounds, healing from a broken marriage, healing. But God said my season was up. Praise be unto God. So this word, if it registered with you, be obedient. Just be obedient to God because he know what's up. What he has for you. If you suffer with me, the word of scripture says, if you suffer with me, then you reign with me. Many people don't want to suffer. Many people don't want to go through nothing. They want the blessings. They want what he got for me. But they don't want to go through nothing. But this here, this is a season of the remnant. Open doors. The season for the woman to arise. The season for the man to arise. I'm not putting the women before the man. God is calling us to the forefront. To answer the call. Because what's ahead of us. It's going to take a company of couples to fight the devil and hell, fire, hell that's coming after the children of God. We facing the Antichrist. Many are gonna lose their life, but many are gonna stand in the middle of the battle and we gonna come out, the Bible says, the, the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church of Jesus Christ. God says in the book of Daniel, we shall do great things for Christ. 